My name is Julie Webster. I'm from The Mustard Seed in Herkimer, New York. And today I'm going to give you a little product overview of the things that we make. We make everything by hand in small batches. And we make two categories of things. Smelly stuff, herbal homekeeping and bath and body products. And then we do food products, dip mixes, spice blends, and other things. So I'll give you a little preview of everything here. We make a line of lotions. It's a shea butter enriched. It's paraben free. And these are uh, eight ounce bottles. They're in plastic bottles with a pump cap. And we do about 20 different scents. So the balsam one is an essential oil. The ginger verbena is a fragrance oil. And there's about 20 different ones to choose from. To match those lotions, we do a body mist, which these are in a little four ounce bottle with a spray cap. And they say body mist, but safe to spray on body, linen, carpet, car, stinky dog, teenage shoes, whatever. And again, we do essential and fragrance oils and any mix in between. We do a liquid hand soap uh, in those same 20 cents. This is, uh, again, an eight ounce bottle and has a pumper cap. And then we do a cleaner. We do a lavender all-purpose cleaner which is, uh, again, sulfate-free, vegan, paraben-free, uh, no junk in there, just all natural things. This is uh, alcohol and lavender essential oil and distilled water. Pretty simple. So safe for non-porous surfaces. And then we do that same cleaner in a rebrand. We call it our yoga mat refresher because it makes a wonderful thing for exercise mats or yoga mats. And we do those in lavender or herbal, which is a pine and other essential oil mix. Then we do a sage smudge spray, which is just essential sage oil, uh, as you would smudge bundle or incense sage. This is where you wouldn't want to have the smoke or the fire from that. This is a spray that, again, is safe for linens, carpet, body, car. If you'd like your dog to smell like sage, I suppose. Then we do a carpet freshener. This one happens to be patchouli, but we call it a vacpourri. This is a uh, one pound bag and it's cornstarch and baking soda mixed with, again, either essential or fragrance oils. We do bagged potpourri. This is Adirondack Woods. We also do a Christmas one and a kitchen one. And uh, this is two cups in a bag here. And you can either put it in a bowl or simmer it on the stove. That's in our smelly stuff category for sure. Then we do a linen spray, and we choose to make our lavender linen spray in this big bottle. This is, um, again, essential lavender oil and safe for uh, body, carpet, car, linens, all those things. That same spray that this uh, that's in this big bottle, we also do in this tiny purple bottle. And this is a four-ounce bottle. This one is a 16-ounce bottle. And the little one we call our pillow mist, and it is our lavender linen spray in a pretty little purple bottle. Then we do room and linen sprays in an eight ounce bottle. And this we do in that whole 20 cent line, all of the essential and the fragrance oils. This happens to be lemon, verbena, and violet. Then we do a line for pets. We do uh, repellents, bug repellents for both people and pets. We do an herbal bug repellent that is lemongrass based. It's a bunch of other wonderful essential oils, and that's more mosquitoes and black flies kind of thing. And then we do a flea and trick tick spray that is lavender, peppermint, and rosemary together. And these are eight ounce bottles. Because they are all natural, if you are sweaty or wet, you've got to reapply them. But again, they are safe for both people and pets. Then we do bagged catnip. We do bagged herbs of a couple different kinds. We do catnip and lavender flowers and balsam fir needles. And they are 100% natural, nothing added to them. And then we do a pet shampoo, which again is actually for people and pets, even though we say pet. I take this camping. This is our flea and tick essential oil blend added to a very mild, gentle uh, shampoo base. This is in a 16 ounce bottle. And then we do a bunch of food. And these are our claim to fame. These are our spice blends or dip mixes. So you can use them for cooking or use them to make a dip. Mix them up with sour cream and mayonnaise and have a dip. These little bags, uh, they vary in ounces, 
but they all make two batches of dip or four cups total. This is our California pizza, our creamy horseradish, and our wasabi blend, uh, which has a nice bite to it. Not going to kill you, but very nice. You could do sour cream and, and mayonnaise together. You can do cream cheese. You could do plain yogurt. Uh, yogurt will make horseradish and wasabi much, much hotter than the sour cream. And we also do a spinach and garlic, garlic and herb, uh, onion dill, and several more in the dips. And our two newer ones uh, that we call both a dip mix and a spice blend is our everything and more, which is like an everything bagel, garlicky and a little bit of salt in there. Uh, and then our taco seasoning. And this is a salt-free blend that you can also make a dip, like for a seven layer dip or just to have uh, put on the tacos on taco night is delicious. Um, all of our spice blends are, there's no added sugar, there's no added gluten, no added junk, no preservatives, and most of them are salt-free. When they say that, uh, it, uh, it will tell you right on the package if it's salt-free or not, that everything and more does have a little bit of salt in it. And then we do a few meat rubs, and a few of them are available in both salt-free or original with salt. There's a chili blend, our sticky chicken, our roast chicken blend is our family favorite recipe on the back for a whole chicken. That's our spicy one. Our Argentine rub is our smoky one. Lots of flavor, not a whole lot of heat. And again, uh, these ones are more rubs or spice blends. And you get the same amount that you would get in a dip mix, but not necessarily going to mix it up with sour cream. Then we do some sweet ones. We do a chai spice blend and a, one called an old fashioned spice. And both of those I would use in any recipe you'd use cinnamon in, you'd use those instead. And we do a mulling spices for cider or wine. We do all of our small batches right in house. Uh, everything is made by us and we label everything. So we also do custom label for um, small retail orders or for our wholesale customers uh, with no extra charge on there. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs>